Faceless YouTube channel gets millions of views and makes around $130,000 a month just by creating extremely simple YouTube shorts. They use AI to create these videos which are specifically aimed at the massive Marvel audience. Most of their videos have millions of views, and here's one of their videos. Spider-Man Police and Man. So we'll use two AI tools to make these videos for free and quickly. It's super easy, and after watching this video, you'll definitely want to start your own faceless channel. The first part hooks the reader, making them curious about the second. And to do this, we will need the first tool chat GPT. To access chat GPT, simply sign up for an account. When you log in, you'll see a screen that looks like this. So here's the deal, I'll share the prompt right under this video. It's already set up to give us exactly what we need. I'll just copy and paste that prompt. Now once you press enter, the AI gives you the results. As you can see, it organizes them like a table. The superhero's name goes in the first column, the first part of the sentence in the second, and it continues with the second part in the third column. It does this in such an easy way that we can copy and paste it into our next tool. Using this method, you can generate more quotes by just asking ChatGPT for another set of 10 quotes without repeats, and it'll deliver fresh one. Now let's move on to our second tool for generating images, which is Leonardo AI. You can also use Midjourney, but in this video, I'll go with Leonardo because it gives us some mind-blowing pictures. Our goal now is to create superheroes with. An unusual look, take Captain America, for example. We can make him look like a cat, but we'll also generate an original look for them in the prompts field, just type in Captain America as a cat, and it'll generate an image of Captain America looking like a cat, then input Captain America full body or just. Captain America, to get the original hero image from Leonardo, will download these images, and we need to repeat this process for our other heroes organizing the images into a single folder, the next thing. We need to do is go to photo room where we need to remove the background, but only for the original hero. We can do this by simply dragging and dropping the images one box. One and clicking download. Now that this is done, the next step is to go to our last tool, which is canva.com. So now we're at Canva, you can either click the link in the description or just type canva.com in your browser sign up for a free account if you haven't already. And once you're logged in, You'll see this screen now. What we'll do is click the search bar in the middle and type YouTube Shorts, then select the YouTube Shorts template and then choose create a blank. Template and you'll have a brand new template ready to use. We'll make a few adjustments to prepare this template. So here's the plan we're going. To upload our images and add text placeholders for our topic first part and second part, then we'll import our data first. Let's upload the images by simply dragging and dropping. Now look for the picture with our superhero as an animal click on it and drag it to the edge of the editor window. This will fill the entire background just like you see now. It's applied as a background video and now we need to tidy it up for adding text. We'll make it about six seconds long as way. Only need a five to six second video so we'll click down on the video and then go up here and click the time icon and adjust it to six seconds next click on the image and choose animate on the left side scroll down and pick photo zoom to add animation to the image now drag the image with the original superhero down here right click select show timing and adjust it to three seconds since we want the original superhero to appear in the last three seconds we'll also animate this image so go to animate on the left side scroll down and choose tumble now this image is animated too now let's add our text before connecting it to our data for full automation. So go to text and simply drag in any of these options. We'll make some adjustments to it. This will be our first piece of text, which will serve as the topic. So I'm just going to replace this text with the word topic and move it to the top to style it double click. To select everything, I'm going to click the color at the top here to change it to white. And I'm also going to add a background. So click on effects, then background by default. It's usually black, but if not, you can select black as the background color. Now our topic text is ready next. Let's change the font. I'm gonna try this. When it looks good, feel free to choose any font you like. There are plenty to. 
Choose from now, duplicate this, and drag it down. This will be our first part text, double click, and replace the text with first part, go to effects again, and click none to remove the background, but add an outline for better readability. Choose black for the outline color, and increase the thickness to around 85. This makes it much easier to read. Now there's a second part. What we'll do is click on the first part's text, and hit duplicate, drag it down. So we have visibility when we're going to work on it because we're going to connect the data for automation. But eventually we're going to put it back in the same place where it's the first part. And I'll show you that in a moment. But there's one more thing for both of these text sets. They might be longer than the topic, the text, and the first part and second part can vary in length depending on what. HatChat GPT provides to manage this. Let's adjust the edges of these purple boxes for first part and second part text. Actually, let's change the first part to second part to avoid confusion click and drag these edges to line up with the purple outline that surrounds the entire video. This ensures the text stays within those lines, avoiding spillage over the video's edge, making it unreadable. Get this one to the edge too. Now our template is almost ready for data connection lastly. We don't want both text sets to appear simultaneously part one's the hook book part two is the punchline we need to adjust the timing so they don't overlap to achieve that right click on the first part then. Select show timing, this gives us a timeline view at the bottom, allowing us to drag the edges to determine when to display the first and second parts of the text for a six second vital. I typically prefer most of it to showcase the first part with a shorter portion dedicated to the second part. This approach encourages viewers to watch the video multiple times for a better understanding boosting overall retention and watch rates and your videos can reach a wider audience. For first part, let's keep it at three and a half seconds. You can adjust this to four or five seconds as you prefer, but three and a half works well apply. The same timing strategy to second part, click on second part to access the timing controls and set it to appear at two and a half seconds one. You've done this, the first part will display first followed by the second part, and if we press the play button, first part displays first, then cuts to second part. Now let's move on to connecting our text to do this. We'll use Canvas Bulk, Create Tool. So to access that, we click apps in the bottom left, and you can see it's right here, Bulk Create, when you click on it. It's going to ask you to enter all your data. This is why we asked ChatPT to provide text in a table format, making it easy to copy and paste it, recognize it. That this is the first set of text to connect followed by the second and third sets. Let's go ahead and copy this text and head back to Canva and click enter data manually from there. Click on the first column in the top left and paste in all our text. It's already formatted correctly identifying topics. The first part and the second part click done and you're good to go, now it's gonna ask. You to link this to specific parts in your editor, so it knows where to display the info. Let's right click on topics, then connect data topic, and connect it you'll notice squiggly lines around it, which means it's linked do the same for first part and second part. Now that it's connected, which is where the squiggly lines come in, drag the second part back over the first part, because we want both sets of text to display. We want one for 3.5 seconds and the other for the last 2.5 seconds next hit continue and it will generate all 10. Videos click generate to create these videos. Now you can see our 10 videos if you hit play it shows the first part, then the second part and so on for all of them. All that's left is to change the images for each video I did 10, but you can generate as many as you want like 40, 60 or 70 videos. So now if I'm ready to export these, I just go to share and then click download. We've achieved all this using AI and a touch of automation to streamline the process repeat as needed to get thousands of videos ready for your AI YouTube channel. That's pretty much how you create thousands of YouTube shorts, Facebook reels and TikTok using AI and a bit of automation. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This way we'll keep making more videos just like this.